When I was younger, I felt like I was blamed for a lot of things. Anytime there was an issue within the home or anytime somebody would say something, I would just think, well, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not that smart. Maybe I'm not that good. Kanda grew up believing the world was against her, even God. I felt like he was always mad at me, like he was always disappointed with me. I was always having to constantly go and repent. Please forgive me, please forgive me. And when she was molested by a family member at 12 years old, Kanda blamed herself. Did I provoke that? What did I do? What was it about me that made that happen? I did not believe that I was worth love, but I wanted it so bad. And I wanted somebody just to put their arms around me and hold on to me and not let me go. But that didn't happen. It's very hard. It's very lonely. And it feels like something that you'll never attain, something that you'll never have. Desperate, she married her first love at 18. But it was hardly the fairy tale of her dreams. Prince Charming wasn't so charming. It became violent abuse and beatings and times that I had to call the police. I was so broken. In my mind, I loved him. And that's what love was. Then, Kanda took a friend's advice and became a stripper. Her first night on stage, she was nervous, but not for long. They wanted me. Can you imagine not just one person, but multiple people at one time? I'm like, yeah, this is it. They like me. <laughs> I kind of left that little girl thinking and feelings and heart behind and just went full force into this. Kanda went from stripping to full nude bars and eventually porn. By the time she was 30, she was addicted to cocaine and traveling the world as a porn star and high-end escort. I was living in Vegas, in Sin City. Penthouse suites, limousines, $5,000 bottles of champagne. I had clients that if I told you their names, you would know who they were. They're athletes, they're actors, they're CEOs. I loved it. Kanda starred in over 80 porn films. At her peak, she married for a third time. He loved her, but he loved porn more. He was addicted to porn in the life that I was living. I was like his dream girl. After 16 years in the industry, Kanda realized she still didn't have what she wanted. I was at the top of everything, and I had everything I thought I wanted, but it wasn't real. It just got to a point where I couldn't stand to look myself in the mirror anymore. I didn't like what I was becoming. It was as if everything I was doing just stopped filling the void. I felt like I was trapped, like I was hopeless. I was almost like I was feeling like I was again when I was a child. I got down on my hands and knees before my husband and I said, please, just wanting him to take me away from all this. He refused, but something inside Kanda wouldn't let her give up hope. I felt like on the inside, like there was something more. It was almost like I heard a voice on the inside saying, I've got something more for you. But I didn't know what that was. Kanda left the industry and her husband when she discovered she was pregnant. Strung out with nowhere to go, she reached out to her two sisters who drove to Vegas to pick her up. By the time they arrived, Kanda had miscarried. God, why? That I was finally gonna have somebody to love me. And I was devastated. Kanda flushed the last of her drugs and returned to Minnesota with her sisters. Still desperate, she accepted her sister's invitation to church. There was nothing left but God. I was so disappointed in myself. How could he be any more disappointed in me? I sat down and I heard the songs. They talked about a God that I really didn't know. They talked about him like he was right there in the room. And it was at that moment, she suddenly remembered the voice she'd heard months earlier. I've got something more for you. I went back to that. Really, could there be something more? I had to take a chance. I said, I want 
to know you. I want to be different. If you say that there's something more for me, I want to know what that is. Show me. That day, she finally realized that Jesus was the love she had always wanted. I had levels of I was so bad or I had done this so much and I didn't realize that he didn't have levels. He just forgave me and he has filled that void for me. He's the only one that has filled that void for me. Kanda, now happily married and a mother of four, shares her story with anyone in search of unconditional love. There's nothing there's so wrong. There's nothing that's so dark, so dirty. He does love you. He wants to have a personal relationship with you and he wants to love you completely and totally.